Well, here we are. Where are we? In the middle of one of our pastures. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was kind of a crazy idea when you said it, but I thought it was a great crazy idea. Well, I was thinking, you know, I got inspired I the last was couple a... weeks thinking, how can we make these better and more unique to ourselves and what we do and what we stand for? Mm-hmm. And then today on the drive-in, I was really inspired by our friend Dandy Frischoa. Yeah. Talking about, you know, we've been talking about we're going to pitch this thing back. Like, we're like, oh, we'll go to Granny's basement. It's yeah. great acoustics. We'll set up the background, neon lights, all this stuff. And then how inauthentic that felt to us. Yeah. And who we are. It really would be. I mean, you think we were like, oh, we're going to have to put a shelf here and put stuff on it and make this backdrop look good and stuff. And now we've got the most beautiful backdrop there is, honestly. And you got some of uh, yeah. the nice stalker cows back there. Yep. Not not the actual Diddy Ranch cattle. There's a few black Anguses, but yeah. some. Yeah, some, I don't know, I guess red Angus. Yeah, it looks like Hereford car, like cross, crosses yeah. out there. <laughs> but um, we we wanted to do this because it's more authentic to who we are. Yeah, like and what, the reason we started this whole thing was about our conversations we have mm-hmm. and how they inspired your Sunday night Bible studies. Yep. And I wanted to have a true, genuine conversation. You wanted to talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> if, there's, if there's one person I've always been able to conversate with, no yeah. matter what, no matter if I, you're tired of me and I'm tired of you, <laughs> whatever else, me and you have always been able to talk yeah. through the good, the bad, the ugly. It's always good to have that. And that's what, that's why we're best friends. Exactly. But we're cousins. We're just a lot more. We're, yeah, we're brothers. co-workers, brothers, whatever you yeah. call us. But we're brothers in Christ, yep. too. So to kind of give a behind the scenes to everybody that does not normal to what we do, before we start every one of these, what do we always do? We always say a prayer. We always say a prayer. Yeah, and I think we normally do it off camera, but... But now we're going to do it on camera. Yeah. And I think, you know, we show more of ourselves here yeah. through all this. So at the end of the day, we're, we're doing all this because we want to show the authentic side of... We are we are more like everybody else watching this than yeah. we are like anyone else to help people regard us yeah. anyway. Yeah, we're not I'm just regular Joe. Yeah, that's all we are. Yeah. We just happen to get a few, just, yeah, few followers a, on social media. Yeah, a few people want to watch our videos online. We were doing this long before we had anybody watching our man's, videos. Man stand. Man stand. All right, yeah. let's, let's say a quick right. prayer. All right, I'll get this week's. So I'll let you get next week's. So. All, right. all right. So you normally lead us in prayer, so yeah. you, you'll start this I'll off. start this one. Yeah. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Blessed to be here on your blessed earth, God. Thank you for continuing to guide Jarrett and I and Connor as we go about this mission in life um, and doing good with this platform you've given us. Please allow us to always have the, the fortitude and the mindset and the clarity to get your word, your message out there to people and to share it the best we would, way we know how to, God. Please be with us as we go about this journey. Allow us to always know that you're there with us through it all. And please be with everyone out there in the world as there's crazy times right now and just allow everyone to know that you are with us all and that's what gives us strength to get through to every day god we love you with all of our hearts and in jesus name we pray amen amen you know that's something i'm gonna be your prayer right there and my eyes closed i don't know the last time that i've been outside and said a prayer it's something there's something very uh I was telling you earlier, like that connection. Being connected to God. It makes you a little bit feel more connected. Maybe yeah. if we were grounding right now with our boots off, the, the, it might be it feeling might be even more. more yeah. Maybe that's the next time. <laughs> yeah. People start calling us hippies. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> we're, we don't even care if people yeah. call us anymore. Yeah, people call, call me whatever you want. People. I'm Jarrett. <laughs> this is Jarrett. I'm Gatlin. Yes. But a lot of people, a lot of people call us Christian nationalists. People, <laughs> people call us. Yeah, that's like uh, a derogatory term for some reason. It is to these people who what, what they say about yeah. us. But then people also call us, you know, um, conspiracy poli- theorists. Conspiracy theorists, <laughs> political. And at the end of the day, we're just everyday guys. Yep. I mean, we're literally, and that's what I wanted to kind of get into today. Today was me and you. I think more than most influencers out there, most. I, I even ag people related who everybody's their vloggers they're they're the day in the life type people yeah. our stuff's always been scripted our stuff has always yeah. been thought out how can we get messages in by being entertaining still keeping that comedy but who we are at gen- and it, like our true selves beyond those characters we've created is that we are like everyone else out there yeah I literally go home to my normal house and your wife my wife and kids you know what's your like, what's your full-time job i'm a ups driver what yeah doing a lot this? of people don't even know this yeah. like you are a ups driver you're delivering people's packages yeah you're, if you live in western oklahoma you've probably i've probably been on your ring doorbell or something <laughs> you know yeah and then that's what people don't get like i deliver i literally have delivered packages to your mom's house I know. many times i've spent many lunch breaks with aunt dixie 
because she's I'm like, hey, I'm in Thomas today. And she's like, come by, I got lunch. I'll be there. <laughs> and that's that's what's cool. It's like I remember the one time when you were like, hey, I'm I'm filming today. We should stop by and make a video. Yeah, like, and we did. I was in like a rental You're truck. You're Kyle, the Doppelganger. Yeah, Gate like, Bart's Doppelganger. Gate Bart's Doppelganger. <laughs> yeah, it's just a video idea. I called you that morning. I was like, hey, I got a good idea. I'm coming to your mom's house today, and we're gonna film a video real quick. And that's what I think, true, all, truly, is why me and you care so much about why God gave us this platform. Yeah. I mean, again, we're just dudes from Western Oklahoma who have, with our grandma, well, with yeah. my grandma, basically your grandma too. Yeah. She's your I've grandma. I've known her my whole life. She's, your, yeah. she's, it may not be blood, but through. She's, she's a lot of people's granny She now. is a lot of people's <laughs> granny, but like it's over 5 million people. Yeah, that's true. Over and 5 million people across all the social media platforms who love granny. Granny is always the star. She is. Whatever she, we do, was, she is the star. I was telling a guy, I was talking to a business conversation yesterday. He's like, everyone's like, oh yeah, we know Granny. Grant, at the end of the day, Granny is Randy Moss. He's like, you know, like you're the. You're like, I'm like, yeah, I'm Dante Culpepper. I was gonna try to say Tom Brady. <laughs> no, no, not, not from the <laughs> Patriots. Patriots. <laughs> Maybe that version of Tom Brady before he became like goat Tom Brady. I'd take it. Just throw it up to Randy Moss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then I'd say if we did the Patriots version, yeah. you would you would be like the West Welker. Teddy Bruschi. You could be like the Teddy <laughs> Bruschi. You'd be, but you'd be like the every Patriot player that everyone yeah. like Matthew Slater. You know the punt return guy. Oh, yeah. Well, is he That's the like, one that just, he just retired, retired yeah. after 20 years? But he was like the ultimate yeah. Patriot. You know, so it's That's like. True. That people go like that's kind of like you're, and, I, and it's okay yeah. by us. But what's really cool is, but we were we didn't know clue that this would happen to us. No, five million plus followers. Because at the end of the day, it still doesn't feel like that's what we have. No, I remember whenever me and my wife first started dating, and I had some of my bottle catch videos <laughs> we went viral, <laughs> and. She had thought, like, when we first started dating, because I'd come up on weekends and film with you. Yeah. And we still, I mean, we had a following at the time, you know, we were still doing pretty good. But she said, it's just crazy to me that millions of people, like, all over the world, even, you know, other countries, they they would recognize your face, you know, and here I am dating you. And it's not that she was, like, starstruck or anything. She just was like, it's just crazy that, I mean, with the internet, that. you yeah. know, like, just... That, things that like, used to be, you would have been like, oh, she'd been dating a Hollywood star. Yeah. Because that's what, what it took back in the 50s and 60s. But now everybody has the capability mm, to reach that many people. Yeah. It is it is wild. Yep. But how we, where I wanted to bring it home with all that is like, dude, with that comes great responsibility, you know, kind of like yeah, Spider Man, Man, you know? Mm-hmm. But it, with that is like, books who we are at down we to our core. We referenced Batman last week, so I guess we had to reference Spider Man. Yeah, this, week. Week. <laughs> this week. We. But at the end of the day, we were given this responsibility, and we're like, you know, this without God, we wouldn't have had this. Yeah, exactly. That's why, as soon as I started having followers on social media, what did I start doing? Yeah, you started doing the Bible studies, yeah. and I, I wasn't even involved it in was that. Just me and I was sitting like, in my recliner or in my room, just going over a couple verses and talking about them. Yeah. And then you were like, hey, let's start doing this better. And then here we are. Just keep building on what I started just <laughs> with my phone. Yeah. And now we've got this whole setup and we're out here in this beautiful pasture. And I feel like all these cows just came out of nowhere. They did just come out of nowhere. I don't think they were here while they <laughs> We have a livestock audience coming to join our uh, truly do. Su- Sunday pasture conversation. Yes. The, where, well, you just saying that too, or like reminds me of like why I also, we were having this talk last week is like, how can we do more with this? Yeah. And, and the power we have with this, we've had so many people message us, like, even though it's only been a few hundred or a few thousand people who watch these things, mm. say, that that helped me get through the week. Or yeah. or reaching out, like, the, the Robinett family from Missouri with their mm. son passing. So many different things have affected us already through it all. Yeah. But the work we're doing with this is very important and very powerful. Yeah, it's more important, honestly. Than any other and, video yeah. you make, really. And we just do this out of, out of our heart. Like, yeah. you always say, like, this isn't something that we do that's... Like we have a bunch of advertisers behind. This is yeah. Who's the sponsor of this podcast? Yeah, us. Uh, yeah. Well, this pod, whatever this is, yeah. who knows what yeah. it is? I mean, I guess we wear our stuff in it, but that's yeah. about it. And we sponsor ourselves. Yeah, we're we sponsored spo- by God. Yeah, that's what that's by what Jesus. We try to do. Yeah. You're welcome, Johnny Miller and Danny Miller. I don't remember some oh. guy. Yeah, about that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> some of the commenters, some of the Facebook people. Yeah, and you're gonna watch the. They're gonna watch this, and some of them will instantly be like whatever yeah. but at the end of the day it doesn't matter because we're trying to this is who we are yeah just trying to be open and honest and not be like even though we do it's funny that some people like you've said they comment on our videos and they say i just love how real you guys are mm-hmm. and in our characters our daryl and gate martin granny like 
we we do try to say the truth in those videos, yeah. but we're not real. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's we're a character we created. Yes. <laughs> this is this is me real right here. Yeah. Like this is us being real. Yeah. As opposed to our characters, but we do like like I just said, we try to have the truth in all of our videos. Yeah. And this is the real side of well, it. Well, that's part of the other, we felt like now with all this going on, like how can we not talk about that stuff? How yeah. can we not talk about all the wildness in the world? The cell phone outages yeah. going out yesterday or the other day, flipping people out. And then, mm -hmm. so we have to make a video about it because yeah. it's also timely and everything going on. But at the end of the day, it's also very related to everything we talk about when it comes to the, these. Yeah. Because everything going on in the world right now is a test. Yes. It's a test. Who's it for a test by? It's a test from, I, we always said, then ultimately, like, who's testing God and Jesus all the time? Who's yeah. testing him? The devil. Mm -hmm. He always has has from the beginning. Yeah, in the book of Job, they call him the, I can't remember what it is. It's like the antagonizer or something. Yeah. There's like a word. I, I, there's all, I literally there's just always, read this the other day, but now I'm forgetting. In every show, every movie, everything, yeah. there's always a protagonist and an the antagonist. antagonist. Yeah. And in this story... That we've always are dealing with. We have this antagonist mm -hmm. who has a big stronghold on everything in our daily lives through the cell phone, through social media, through the news, everything yeah. he's got a stronghold on. That's like we were talking about in our video yesterday about being so addicted to the phone and just being able to let go of it for yeah. a little bit. And that, honestly, I wouldn't say like, oh, the devil created the cell phone, but there's a lot of stuff that that cell phone pushes on us that is from the devil yeah that distracts us from each other from loving each other from just being out here in this beautiful nature you know taking and a just moment. really getting close to god because yeah. we spend so much time just addicted to that thing well that what we're we are slaves to that and and that's what I, I think another reason too like coming out here was great is like this we're, we're like in the most secluded part of our whole operation yeah this is like we're there's no cell service hardly down here yeah. there's nothing down here you know besides these guys yeah. back here now <laughs> they just showed up. and and but what it does is it makes you really get like this and this is why i wanted the conversation to yeah. shift towards this because this is where we really have our real conversations. Yeah, we can actually talk to each other and... it's not we're not no longer addressing that thing we're no longer it's mm -hmm. right here because in the day, if we're going to stay here and keep putting up with all this crap in the world and not stand for what we truly believe in, yeah. which we stand for God, family, country. We say it every week. Mm -hmm. But at this point now, I feel like if we don't really hold strong in what we're saying, what we believe, yeah. and fighting as hard as we possibly can right now, what the heck are we doing with this, man? Yeah. Like, what are we doing? I'm being serious. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, like, are we gonna? Are we just going to barely get by? Or are we going to really try to do something that's going to change? You yeah. know, that's going to make a difference in the world? What, I mean, I, I said a couple weeks ago, God, and he said it, but it's like, do you want to be the change you want to see in the yeah. world? Do you? Then then be that. Yeah, So exactly. we. So, like, I want my daughter to grow up in a better world than what we're growing up in right yeah. now. The world that we knew when we were teenagers isn't the world that these no. teenagers are growing up it's in. It's getting the so highest, turbulent. The highest freaking murder thing going on in the world is a suicide rate in teenagers. Yeah. What the heck's a part of that? The devil's getting them through social media. Yeah. What the heck else is going on in like all that? Like when we were their age, we were out playing with our friends and stuff, and we actually spoke to people, you know, talked face to face. And now these kids are spending so much time on their phones every day, and they're just getting poison poured into their brains from this. But they think that's that's reality. And, that's the problem. And that's they don't not have the world this. that we even grew up in. Not even twenty well, years ago. It's all out. Like God, they've removed God from everything. Yeah. They removed Jesus from everything, and this is the world we've got left with. Like that chart I showed you. It's not even just like suicide rates and stuff. It's just intelligence. Yeah. The chart I showed you yeah. where they took the Bible out of school and SAT scores have plummeted Crashed. since then. What do you? If you're a secular person, why is that? How, how can you explain that? Other than knowing like the Word of God, and not even just the Word of God, just being able to know the Word of God. Yeah. It's not that. Like they they were forced the Bible on people, but they forced the Bible away from people. Yeah, they take well they take it they removed they removed faith out of so much in the world. Yeah, out of so much that means so much to this country that we love and appreciate and that we're in. Mm -hmm. And the more they keep removing God, the more they keep removing Jesus out of everything, the more further we get from all this. Yeah, the worst thing. And we have no fundamentals. And I think a big part of why. I know you've always wanted to do this and why I want to be attached to part of this with you mm -hmm. and doing it in a way we can to hopefully this will get more exposure. Hopefully yeah. this will bring more eyeballs and people to, to express and understand the love and kindness and the true joy that being a believer allows you to have. Like, I have no doubt that this thing will take off now. I have no doubt. Yeah. I like, have no doubt. it. Before I was like, I don't know, I don't know. But now I truly believe in what we're doing. If you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. Yeah, we're and falling me, for a lot right now. And honestly. America is, but we're not. So yeah. we, what, it's, it's time for everybody to start standing the freak up. I'm sorry. Like I, 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 we got to start standing for what we truly believe. If you're a believer out there, stand the 
like stand up for something. Yeah. Have some backbone. Be the person you want to be to see in the change in the world. I want my daughter to marry the greatest man possible. But the only way she's going to know that is if I'm that example for her. Exactly. Same way for your son and same way for your daughter. Yeah. It's like the only way they're going to be able to grow up in a world that is better than the world we know is mm-hmm. if we make the world a better place. Yeah. And it's only going to happen if we set the tone. If we continue to allow all this BS going on in the world with all the people who don't know what's going on, free spirits, all this stuff with no guidance, no love mm-hmm. from God, then we're screwed. Yeah, like that. I mean, this is Friday when we're filming this. That lady on the news this morning talking about how our rights don't come from God. And now you're some kind of Christian nationalist if you believe that. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? Like, I commented on there that if you don't think that your rights come from God and you think that they come from government or man, they're going to take them away from you. Because if they gave them to you, they will take them away from you. And And that's what happens in Soviet Russia. That's what happens in North Korea. That's what happens in Nazi Germany is they took God away. And without God, man took the place of where you get your natural rights from. And when that happens the worst possible evils in the world could ever happen. And that goes against everything the Founding Fathers wanted for this country. Yeah. It goes against all of it. They they knew the government should not have any overseeing of what goes on in religion. Yeah. Separation of church and state. Exactly. They've always worked together side by side, but they've never crossed each other. Yeah, and the separation of church and state, people always get that so confused. It came from a letter that Thomas Jefferson wrote to a church i can't remember something baptist church yeah and he was telling them to not worry with the government that they were creating that that government would not be able to encroach on their their, their religion. religion yeah yep. and that's what they, they took that little phrase that he wrote in a letter and they've ran with it and said that oh your religion can't touch the government no religion is supposed to if if this was like another religion had a uh, more people over it they could vote in the people they wanted christians are supposed to stand up yeah and they're supposed to elect people that really are christians not people that just say they are so they can get on the ticket you know there's yep. a lot of that too there's yeah. a lot of people that say they're christians and do not live a christian, christian lifestyle. life oh 100 percent. you get the mitt romney's of the world who claims to be mormon mm-hmm. moves to utah after being a governor what's of Massachusetts. That called when you just move around carpetbagger? Yeah, carpetbagger. Mm-hmm. That's, an, that's an old, yeah, old mud, mudslinging yeah. term from the days. <laughs> you move around to run for office. And that's and that's the, a lot of the problem. We have all these like false, fake people. Oh, yeah. You know, that aren't truly living and representing. And the thing is, with the people that we're talking about, the people who watch our stuff, mm-hmm. those are the people who are America. Salt those are of the earth right there. That's who, that's who the people who still believe in that faith. And yeah. if we're trying to tell everybody out there, you don't need to have millions of followers to do this. Yeah, everyone has like a circle. They have people that they can influence. Yeah, themselves. your community. Yeah. That's that's a huge part. But also, it's like we if you if there is things like that that, that you feel like aren't being said, like we want to be that voice for mm-hmm. you. We're tired of not being a, a voice that people are over seeing or stepping and thinking we're just crazy middle you know heartland yeah. American flyover state people. No. It is time that we are finally here. We're at this crossroads. We've got to make yeah. a stand, stand up for each other. I know. I know. This week you have a verse that pertains to everything we've been talking about. Uh, you want to hit? You want to just want to read this yeah, week so I we can get, it. let Actually, everyone know. My Kirby bucket. I'm sorry. I'm. I, no. this, this. I love getting out here. It's yeah. firing me up because it's about. It really is. It's, it, it's nice to be out here. You, you just, feel freed. You feel. Yeah. You feel like one with God, one with nature, and I, just you really want to get at it. Yeah. You know, like just because they're trying to take this away from us. Yeah, the day that you can't go outside and enjoy God's green earth like this is the day that we really yeah. all should work. And like about. we're talking about, what are we going to do about it? Yeah. Well, that's kind of what this verse here has to do with. This is from Isaiah, and it's Isaiah 55. Okay. We'll, we'll find Isaiah in there. Uh, I don't got tabs, so I'll let you. You go ahead. I got, yeah, yeah. I'm right there, actually. I just turned. That Very is nice. the Lord. Wow. Isaiah 55, 11. It is the same with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. It's like we're talking about having all these followers and stuff, well, and all the people that you might not have any followers. You might have just your 50 friends on Facebook or something. That's 50 people that you could send out the word of God to. Yep. Yeah. Like we're like we said, whenever we started getting followers and stuff, we felt like the need to do this to spread the word to spread how we feel God's worked in our lives yeah sharing the word not preaching at people just sharing it to them like, yeah. this is how he has changed us yeah like without him I would be so lost man I'd be so confused yeah. about what would go on and that kind of relates to 
a reflection of why people are so confused today. Yeah. People are lost. They don't have God. Yeah. And look what happens when you, like you said, you put things out there into the world. This is about like, man, this is about manifesting the stuff in the world. Yeah. Well, we're manifesting it right now by coming out in the air in this pasture, having mm-hmm. a sa- Sunday pasture conversation yeah. and really getting into his word and understanding that without him, we are screwed. That's, That's true. the truth. Yep. And whether you like that word or not, I don't care. It's the it's reality. Yep. And God did not make us weak people. He wanted us to be warriors for yeah. him. I'm sorry, but if people don't like, guess what? People, Jesus was not just some hippie. Oh, yeah. He, Jesus was no hippie. They, they try to whitewash Jesus all the time saying, oh, he just loved everybody. Yeah, he loved everybody so much that he told them to quit being stupid, you <laughs> yeah. know. Quit your sinful ways and pick up your cross and follow me. Yep. You know, like he, he did not want you to, oh, just whatever whatever you feel like, he's going to love you because of that. Yeah, he's going to love you, but he's going to tell you to quit that or else you're going to end up in hell. Yep. If you want to not end up in fiery pits of hell, you're going to pick up your cross and you're going to follow me and you're going to live righteously. Man, you nailed it right on the head. I'll try. I think that's the best way to just wrap this one up tonight, today, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> this, so... To start these conversations like this is is what I want want to bring out and introduce to people, mm-hmm. and then that we can really share. Nope. I just love being able to connect with you this yep. way, and, like ca- and connecting with these guys in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've built quite a crowd. Yeah, man. see, we're preaching. Was, literally, when we pulled up out here, there was five cows. I and that, look, they, they're hearing the good word. They want to hear more yeah. of it. This is much what they felt like back in the '30s when yeah. they start sitting on the cars and coming. Now, this out. meat will be blessed from our conversations yeah. out here. <laughs> It's going to be some good meat. Well, <laughs> well, the only thing is that if we want to start doing a prayer list every week, yeah. if you want to email the is it Sunday, com- Sunday Night Combos at gmail.com. Yeah. Sunday Night Combos at gmail.com. When, it, when we want to start sending out prayers to, to people. Yeah. So whether you whatever you got going on in your lives, mm. and we all have our own people in our lives, like my wife's cousin, we want to say, yeah, thank, keep her in your prayers this week. She's got diagnosed with brain cancer, and it's not looking good for her. Yeah. But if anything, give them peace, pray for peace, p- pray for guidance in this final final days of her earthly life mm-hmm. and her family, give them peace. Yeah. But you know, there's people like that throughout the world that are affected. Please give us... We'll, the power of prayer is real. Yeah. I don't deny it. I've seen people literally use cancer get healed mm-hmm. from small communities praying. And people, oh, that's science yeah. and all this other stuff. You know, there was stuff, they weren't even taking any pills yeah. and it went away. So, yeah. Uh, that's like we've always talked about having faith as small as mustard seed. Yeah. Like the parable. Yep. And that God can move mountains. If he can move mountains, he can... He can do wonderful things. Amen, man. Well, uh, we got to go move some cattle here pretty soon if they don't yeah. lie. <laughs> Sorry, I could knock over a camera. Well, that was this week. That was uh, us. First Sunday pasture conversation. Sunday pasture conversation. The first of many, I think. Yeah, I like this. All right, well, I love you, brother. Thanks you for too, being man. Thanks yeah. for being my best friend. Thanks yeah, for being my brother in class. Can't wait to see where this goes. Who, who knows where it's going to go. Yeah. Thank you, Connor, for coming out here and manning the... Yeah. The the old the elements. Yeah. It's a, this this is a lot harder for people. people. Yeah. It's a lot harder than people realize. Like coming out and start filming in the middle of a pasture. Yeah. That's why most people don't do this. But we're like, eh. Yeah. Test it's us all you want. Not to. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. All right. Well, y'all have a a great great week ahead. Yeah. God bless. God bless y'all.